This photograph was taken in the Fairmount Waterworks in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania around 1890. The photo was taken by Horace Gibbons and the Fairmount Waterworks was the second municipal waterworks in the city. It was designed in 1812 by Frederick Graff, who invented the modern fire hydrant in 1801, and it was built between 1812 and 1872. It operated until 1909, winning praise for its design and becoming a popular tourist attraction. And I think that's what you see in this photograph. This was a tourist attraction. The photographer was there. This might be family members. And he took a picture on that day. It now houses a restaurant and an interpretive center that explains the waterworks purpose and local watershed history. It was designated a National Historic Landmark in 1976 for its architecture and its engineering innovations. It was the nation's first water supply to use paddle wheels to move water. Following a series of yellow fever epidemics in the late 1800s, city leaders appointed a watering commission and selected John Davis and Frederick Graff to design a new waterworks in order to meet the demand of the increasing number of city residents and to solve the problem of inadequate storage capacity. The facility the industrial nature of which was disguised by a classical revival exterior, became a tourist attraction for its beauty and its location on the riverside. Visitors included Charles Dickens, who praised it for its pleasant design and public usefulness. Another English visitor, Fanny Trollope, said of the waterworks, There is one spot, however, about a mile from the town, which presents a lovely scene. The waterworks of Philadelphia have not yet perhaps as wide extended fame as those of Marley, but they are not less deserving of it. At a most beautiful point on the Schuylkill River, the water has been forced up into a magnificent reservoir, ample and elevated enough to send it throughout the whole city. The vast yet simple machinery by which this is achieved is open to the public who resort in such numbers to see it that several evening stages run from Philadelphia to Fairmount for this accommodation. I think this photograph is terrific because it's simplistic. It's three people on a piece of machinery and maybe not be as, may not be as uh, attractive as some things are, but when you see the pictures of the exterior, which I'm going to include in this video, you're going to see why it attracted people to the degree that it did. It's a beautiful building. You know, they made this beautiful building to kind of disguise what could be considered unattractive. And so I think they did a fantastic job of making something that could be ugly into something beautiful. I hope you enjoyed this video and the story behind this, this photograph. And if you do, follow me for more.